I'm torn by two perspectives in this regard. One is the one which I've had for some time, which is that the Palestinians have no interest whatsoever in establishing peace, uh, and that the and that the uh, uh, the pathway to peace is um, almost unthinkable to to accomplish. Now, why do I say that? Some might say, "Well, just let the Palestinians have the West Bank and, and have security and and, uh, uh, and, and set up a, a separate nation for the Palestinians." And then, and then come a couple of thorny questions. And I, I don't have a map here to look at the geography, but but uh, the border between Israel and the West Bank is obviously you're right there, right next to, to Tel Aviv, which is the, the financial capital, the industrial capital of Israel, the center of Israel. It's uh, what the border would be, maybe seven miles from Tel Aviv to what would be the West Bank. The other side of the West Bank, the other side of what would be this new Palestinian state would either be Syria at one point or, or Jordan. And, and, of course, the Iranians would want to do, through the West Bank, exactly what they did through Lebanon, what they did uh, in, in the Gaza, which is the Iranians would want to bring missiles and armament into the West Bank and potentially threaten Israel. So Israel, of course, would have to say, that can't happen. We've got to keep the Iranians from bringing weaponry into the West Bank. Well, that means that who? The Israelis are going are gonna, to... Uh, uh, patrol the border between Jordan, Syria, and, and this new Palestinian nation? Well, the Palestinians would say, oh, no way! Uh, we're an independent country. You can't, you can't you know, guard our border with other Arab nations. Uh, and then how about the import? How about flying into this Palestinian nation? Um, are we going to allow uh, military aircraft to come in? And, and weaponry to come in? And if not, who's going to keep it from coming in? Well, the Israelis. Well, uh, the Palestinians are going to say, we're not an independent nation if Israel is able to come in and tell us what they land our airport. These are problems that are very hard to solve. All right? and, and I look at the Palestinians not wanting to see peace anyway for political purposes, uh, committed to the destruction and elimination of Israel, and these thorny issues, thorny issues, and I say, there's just no way. And so what you do is you say you, you move things along the best way you can. You hope for some degree of stability, but you recognize this is going to remain an unsolved um, problem. I mean, we, we live with that in, in China and Taiwan. All right, we have, we have a, a, a potentially uh, volatile situation, but we sort of live with it. And we kick the ball down the field and hope that ultimately somehow something will happen and resolve it. We don't, we don't go to war to, to try and uh, resolve it imminently. Uh, on the other hand, I got a call from a former Secretary of State. I won't mention which one it was. Um, uh, but this individual said to me, uh, uh, you know, I think there's a prospect for, for a, a settlement between the Palestinians and the Israelis uh, after the Palestinian elections. I said, really? And, uh, you know, his answer was, was yes. Uh, I think there's some prospect. And I, and I didn't uh, delve into it.